Hey everybody, welcome back to ChallengeYourself.blog. Today's video is about a pneumatic muscle that I've been working on. As you can see in the picture, the air goes into the inlet and then intersects at the T before going into the muscle. And how this muscle works is it expands out in the X direction and then contracts in the Y axis direction. And the way this muscle works is there's a sheath around a silicone tube. And what this sheath does is protects the silicone tube from expanding too much, which may cause it to burst. The experiment I performed in my father's garage and I hooked this up to a toolbox and it weighs about 50 pounds or so. And I wanted to make sure that I had the muscle assembly securely attached to the toolbox before applying air to it. And then I apply air to it and as you can see it has lifted the toolbox off the ground a little bit. So I checked the ratchet strap to make sure that it's secure. And I do several iterations where I apply air, release the air, uh, apply air again. And in this assembly, I was able to get it up to around 80 or 90 PSI. I'd estimate that uh, it's lifted the uh, box up about a half inch to maybe a, an inch off the ground. I truncated this video and left out some of the iterations that I'd performed. The more that I repeated applying air pressure to the, the muscle, I noticed that it started to lose some of its uh, ability to uh, pick up weight. Uh, so it was uh, not expanding out as far and contracting up uh, along the y-axis as much uh, with repeated use. With further experimentation, I could determine whether or not maybe the uh, weight was a little too much for it to handle if it had to do with the diameter of the tube and the sheath. I'd like to miniaturize this uh, muscle configuration and see if I can group uh, multiple muscles together. So that concludes today's video. I'd like to hear your comments. If you have any uh, questions, comments, uh, recommendations, I uh, Appreciate you dropping a line down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. That worked pretty cool.